it's definitely exciting times for Qualcomm and the industry in general. If you look at Qualcomm, uh, we pride ourselves in uh, bringing uh, new technologies and uh, we're currently working on 4G and beyond. One thing I'd like to say is that the, the cost of uh, device price points coming down in 3G technology took a while, uh, but with 4G technology we've definitely seen a rapid decline in affordable devices. So if you look at 4G devices today, the objective for Qualcomm is to have as many devices in the hands of the consumer. We innovate at the high end and generally after the innovation that waterfall effect that happens with the technology brings the new features and technologies to more affordable devices. So that's how we see the market grow for 4G as well and beyond. If you look at 4G, 5G, one of the challenges that will be faced is the insatiable uh, appetite for data by the consumers and the data tsunami that's going to hit. From a Qualcomm perspective, we not only work on the network side but also on the device side so that all these high bandwidth data applications that are consumed on a device are offered at a, at a very good experience. So if you look at the modem technology, we work on technologies like MIMO, uh, massive MIMO in 5G, um, in terms of modulation, 256 QAM, carrier aggregation, all these technologies put together will offer a great experience on the device. The Indian smartphone market had a stellar quarter last year, first time we had 30 million smartphones. I only see it grow from here. If you look at, again, coming back to the price points, they keep rapidly declining and the capabilities of the device keep increasing and once the consumer gets used to a certain kind of high quality experience on a device there is no reason for them to not only keep continuing with the uh, device but also to upgrade themselves to better quality devices higher spec devices and that's the trend I expect out of India as well. I've seen this in other emerging markets as well especially Southeast Asia and India is no different to that. Let me take a step back there was a time where SMS and voice was a given on a mobile phone then it became SMS and voice and uh, internet connectivity then it became SMS voice, internet connectivity and uh, content. I think the next phase for the mobile operators after this is to step into the IoT opportunity that allows millions and billions of uh, new connections to the operator and more importantly from a consumer point of view the lifestyle it offers. So it's got definitely a socio-economic benefit. Qualcomm as a technology leader is uh, working on 5G technology and massive IoT solutions in, uh, in the future. We try and bring uh, our innovation, our uh, IP in the cellular, in the mobile business into other ver verticals. In this case IoT, we expect different kind of applications whether it's connected cars, connected homes, smart cities and smart communities and healthcare. These are some of the verticals that we're quite focused on. I won't, uh, speculate one or two. I think that the opportunity is bigger than that. There is no reason why use cases that we associate with mature markets cannot be in an emerging market like India. I'll give a very simple example of healthcare. Ultrasound machines used to be hundreds and thousands of dollars. Today they're available in a more affordable price bracket. And uh, you know there could be a scenario where these ultrasound machines are in villages where the nurses uh, go house to house and uh, check the health of pregnant women and then that information, if need be, is transmitted to various doctors around the uh, cities and uh, a remote diagnostic of these patients can, uh, can happen through these kind of IoT applications. So one of the things that we work on uh, as an industry on 5G is uh, not just the high data speeds and uh, low latencies, but things like security and safety as well. From a Qualcomm perspective, the cars are connected at this point, so there, there are certain uh, companies that we work with that have connectivity inside the car, but I think the next phase is more about what we call cellular V2X, which is not just a cellular connectivity in the car, but the cars talking to each other, the cars talking to the street furniture, and that basically provides uh, safety, security to drivers, better road, experience and more efficient cars in the industry as well. It's not just limited to Qualcomm, I think it's uh, the onus is on the industry to ensure that uh, the information that is out there is protected and from a Qualcomm perspective it's also the case.